Beautiful. Welcome to the Alive Lauren podcast and the place of celebrating juicy, soulful, whole living and adventuring and engaging on this journey of a lifetime. The unfathomable gift of being here. Wow, I think it's something for me. It's definitely, definitely worth reflecting on more often. Um, Mickey Singer's got a series living from a place of surrender. It's like an audio series from, it seems like a workshop he was doing. And listening to that, just the reminder, there's sections when he really just talks, speaks into how incredible it is. Like just, if you actually just think about this planet and the amount of diversity so that those lines from like the Lion King, the circle of life, how there's more to see here than can ever be seen, more to do than can ever be done. And there's more to find than can ever be found. It's like there's stuff still being discovered. We live on this planet that if you think about like in one solar system, there's, they haven't found life on any of the other planets in this particular solar system. And then you're looking into other galaxies and universes and to the infinity of space that's ever expanding. So yeah, I know all the things around aliens or ideas and then evidence and people with conspiracy theories. But in terms of just like the mainstream world we live in, it's pretty much accepted that like planet Earth is the place where definitively life form has been discovered. Um, it's not just to think about like how much, how much is here. It's, it's absolutely incredible. And then if you think about the grand scheme of time overall and how measurably like many years they measure in terms of the growth and the expansion of the universe and, and then you look at the time of one lifetime, gosh, it's like less than a split of a second, the wink of an eye, the like snap of a finger. And to be here, the stuff like Mickey talks about, like imagine being on like Mars or like one of the other planets, there's really not much going on. And here, every moment that you're awake and have your senses available to experience this place, there is so much going on. And to actually think about that, each one of us really is, our experience is so unique that the vantage point at any point in time, whatever we are experiencing, nobody has ever, ever in the history of ever experienced what we've experienced from the vantage point we are seeing it. And even if someone came to stand in your exact spot and look, they're looking around like moments after you where things are already changing. And everyone's also like looking through the lens of like everything that's happened from the time they were born until now which is also affecting like how each of us are seeing and processing our worlds. So it's like each one of us, just like we have a unique fingerprint, like literally from the moment we are born, are having this unique experience of witnessing life's unfolding that nobody has had before and nobody's going to have afterwards. It is so unique when people want a unique experience. And this like illusion of consistency that sometimes when people get into a routine or you have like work days and you get up and you have a certain schedule, it's not the same. The schedule, you may be following the same routine, but it's on a different day with different things unfolding and different people and different, so that sort of like illusion of consistency, whereas there's a newness, even if it's familiar and routine. And to remember that, just think it's like so valuable to remember that. And to think about how, whether in any moment, like if you close your eyes, if any of us like cease to exist here, here is carrying on. It's like, it's like this incredible <laughs> force of life that is just constantly moving through space and time with or without us. Like it's going to continue with or without us. And we have this incredible gift, like from the moment, literally, like, the, yes, there's all the different religious ideas and texts and, and everything of who, what, where, when, but like, just actually, we arrive here, like, do we really know, like, where we came from, like, really, and where we're going to, like, what happens afterwards, like, like when we're here, 
you arrive with these senses in like this incredible I do I sometimes do think this is not so much a Mickey thing but like I I think with the kids playing you know in the video games and you have like avatars in a game sometimes it does it's like that game exists and avatars can come in and out and play but the game exists and it's like this world exists and it keeps unfolding and we have these avatars. God, I remember when my kids used to play this one and they would assume like a new avatar and then it would like jump out of a plane and parachute down and land somewhere on this island. And it's like our souls kind of like the essence, the awareness that animates and is a way of being aware, like enters here in this body that is like so complex. It's insane how complex it is and we use it without a blink of an eyelid of like we have no awareness around constructing it repairing it made like yes so over time sort of discovering things around health and wellness and food and diet and exercise and obviously things that are better for maintaining <laughs> this vehicle and things that are more detrimental to its health and well-being but i mean it's like when i think about like i use a cell phone i have no idea where to begin in even like creating one and putting one together and inventing one and all the different things. And I remember when touch screens came in, like it was like the most, I couldn't understand like how, how by like fingers touching on a screen, how is this replacing a keyboard? Like I just don't understand. I haven't to this day looked into it, but still it's like so remarkable how we can access and use stuff that is so complex and have no clue, be clueless like our bodies, just in every moment, yes, yes, even doctors, like yes, you could start studying how things work and what animates what and what triggers what. But the scale at which it's going on in every instant, seamlessly, effortlessly, gracefully, my God, like when I've injured my knee recently and everything that is going on, I must have wreaked incredible havoc on a cellular level, like in like kind of like earthquake or tsunami with everything that I kind of like ripped or tore and without me lifting a finger my body is just dealing with repair and reconstruction god it actually starts to become it is it's like it's really this unfathomable gift of being here and not only do we experience through senses we have we experience through emotions we experience thoughts we have things that we experience on the outside things that we experience on the inside Wow, wow, wow. So it was just all of this that came up yesterday through just listening in the background that seminar. And then, yeah, there was a cute one because I remember this thing with Muji saying something about like, well, imagine living <laughs> as if you are the awareness behind just like a pair of eyeballs, um, like floating through space. And oh, gosh, it really kind of incredible because we the fact that we are this awareness to perceive it all and sometimes just to remember and reflect for me I find it really valuable to have touch points in the day of really just reconnecting to the fact that oh my god for like the blink of an eye I'm on this planet of such rich diversity where I've been gifted this incredibly complex avatar that can just do and experience so much Wow. Yeah, Mickey often talks about the world sort of being God's Disneyland. Um, and it's just it's such a beautiful, powerful analogy, I find, in terms of like, just we are gifted the opportunity of experiencing. Like when you go and experience Disneyland, it's there. It's moving, it's continuing, it's every day it'll operate whether you're the visitor or not. And life here... It's interesting not to, and there's a whole other discussion in terms of, um, you know, value and interconnectedness and, um, but like just really thinking about the whole point of life being the, the actual experience of life and the actual valuing and appreciation of the opportunity to experience and expanding our definitions of joy and pleasure and yeah. I know it may sound a bit crazy and upside down, but like, but that like, there is a joy and a pleasure even in 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 grief and sorrow and pain for the fact that it's 
possible to experience them. It's part of the whole like spectrum of experience available. Wow. Wow. So this was just a general sort of musing along that line because, um, yeah, also just an exercise Mickey suggests is, you know, having a few touch points during the day where it could be a trigger, it could be like opening a door, it could be getting into your car, whatever it is. And just for a couple of moments, just to remember that we're on a planet, <laughs> spinning around a star, hurtling through space. It just helps to put a few things in perspective and then just kind of when those embers of authentic gratitude may be um, coming down, just a little bit of fire and fuel to those to light up that fire of gratitude or fascination once again. So happy adventuring, precious soul. Until we meet again.